So let me ask you guys. Oh God. Is the name Cardboard Boxer in any way related to that no. movie by, by Thomas Hayden Church? No, not no. at all. No, we, uh, we, we came up with the band name and then like way too far in found out about that movie. Which and it's apparently this just like atrocity of like a movie. Like the ratings are like terrible. We I've never seen it. I've never watched it. We it. just came up with a band name because we're like, oh, it doesn't make sense. So it'll be like the first thing that pops up when you look up Cardboard Boxer. Then we uh, kind of like failed to do any more research. So the name was completely random. Well, do you want the, the real full story? Yeah. All right. Have we ever told this before? I don't know. Yeah. Well, we were walking after a show down um, an alley, and like I think it was from Soda Bar, and we turned the corner. We were all as a band together, and this uh, this dude just was like sleeping in a box right on the side of the alley, and we were just trying to like walk by and not like disturb him or anything. And this dude just pops out boxing gloves and just start charging us, and just starts swinging on us. <laughs> Really? So we have to like fight him back and we get into this like 10 minute brawl with this guy. He put up a good fight, but there was four of us, so. Yeah, but he was like a swole, like homeless boxer dude. Really good shape for a homeless boxer. Yeah, it was wild. Okay. What are your names and roles in the band? I'm Thomas, I play guitar. Shay, I do guitar and vocals. And then Evan and Cameron. Evan's the drummer, Cameron is the bass player. Um, They're at work right now. Yeah, unfortunately. How long have you guys been around? About 2017, right? Was when we came out with our first album. Yeah, 2017. So you guys came out of the gates with an album. We've kind of done all EPs uh, until we put out this last album, Current Youth, that was like 10 songs, but we did like Seven, then six, then five. five. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I'd call it like a seven song, an EP still. How did you guys meet? So we started playing together in sixth grade. So we've been um, playing music together for, what, like 12 years now or something like that? However long ago sixth grade was. But we were initially like a metal band. Uh, and then our drummer joined our band in like seventh grade. And then we had like a string of uh, bassists. And uh, we got our most recent one like just before COVID a couple years ago. But yeah, we met him at work. He was uh, he was my trainee, so it was, uh, was kind of like, oh, like I'll pass you, but you got to come play bass for us. <laughs> what uh, influenced you guys to start playing music in the first place? I think just like growing up with it. Um, for me, like I started going to concerts when I was like four or five years old. I was ripping Guitar Hero a lot, and I was like, well, I could just, like, do the real thing. It'd probably be, like, easier, honestly. You know, I'm like, why am I putting so much effort into this video game? <laughs> Pick up a guitar and... How do you describe Carver Boxer's music? I feel like it's pretty dynamic in the sense that I feel like we change, like, every EP pretty, like, drastically. As drastic as, like going from death metal to hip hop? Not not to that extent, but I just feel like there's some core elements that are similar, but I feel like we just kind of write whatever we're feeling like at that time in our life that kind of captures our emotions. But I, I would like overarchingly describe our music as like indie punk, probably. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Throughout our career, we have done death metal to hip hop though. That's true. Since sixth grade. Between the death metal band and uh, Cardboard Boxer, yeah. Okay. There's a hidden hip hop track out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, SoundCloud. Sound Don't look it up. What are like your most memorable shows that you've played? Definitely up there was, the, where did we play that show, The Bunker? Uh, just like, just like some underground, like garbage punk show in like Paris or- Not whatever. like the good Paris. <laughs> Not the good like Paris. P-E. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah with the, like Paris with an E. And everyone like brought their own beer and it was like pretty packed out. And I remember they had these like um, boxing gloves on the stage 
and people were just taking them and just like going hard as fuck. They were like fighting during all like, of our songs. Like straight fighting during our songs. People were getting like knocked out and stuff. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so that was definitely up there. That was just like a, a spectacle to see, you know? It was in like a abandoned like weed farm. And we had no idea how they got power to it or anything. It was like the, shit, like way off like a dirt road. Like the, the dude that was throwing it was like, yeah, like um, I knew the guy that was like working here. He like went down to do a big deal in Mexico and never came back. So I've just been throwing shows in this place. <laughs> the past two months, <laughs> he, he got killed. <laughs> Have you guys toured? Yeah. Yeah, we've done Not tours. Um, Some better than others. Yeah, we've honestly like COVID just really kind of like screwed us with touring as I'm sure it did to like most bands. Cause like we, we had done a few like West Coast runs and then we had like a big like full US tour, like all booked with like legit guarantees. And that got canceled obviously cause of COVID. So it's like 40 shows that yeah, got canceled. Actually. It's like two uh, months, yeah. France, uh, France, freaking like Canada. Yeah, Canada, Mexico. And um, then we're like waiting. We're like, okay, we're gonna rebook it, gonna rebook it. Then we booked like, uh, as soon as COVID got to the point like 2021, where it's like, okay, stuff's opening, shows are going on again. We're like, okay. We booked another tour for like 12 shows, just like another West Coast run. And then just like some of the shows were like getting canceled again because of like COVID and like, it's just been like very difficult to try to like book stuff. I mean, it seems fully open now, but we're still just kind of like skeptical. Barely made it through the last tour in one yeah. piece. Oh, why is that? Yeah. We almost <laughs> ate our drummer. <laughs> so we were like driving up uh, the Donner Pass, going from like San Francisco on our way to uh, Boise, Idaho. Just flooring and going 15 miles an hour. Yeah, cars were like swerving around us. It was our raining. windshield wipers didn't work, so we had the windows down. We were like hanging out trying to see like... We were just around. soaked in water. We were both... And it was coming through the roof on top of us. Cameron and Evan were in the back just like sleeping like, when are we going to get there? Dry. And we're like... Shut! Yeah, just, just like fuming up front. <laughs> and, and what kind of vehicle was it? It was the ambulance. And you tore in an old ambulance. Yeah, a big like box ambulance. It was like an old LA County fire ambulance. And how did you come across that? So we've been like EMTs for the last like six years. We're almost done with medic school right now. But it was from like a previous company we worked at. They were just like selling them. And they gave us a good deal on it that we couldn't refuse. They were selling all these old crappy ones with like no engine. And they were like, yeah, like you can honestly just have it for free. And so we came up to the owner and we we're like, we'll take it. And he's like, what do you want with it? And we're like, we're just gonna like fix it up and go on tour. And he's like, oh, just sell you a working one. And so uh, it gives a pretty good deal on it. They're pretty spacious inside. You can sleep four people in there. Not comfortably. Not comfortably, but like sardines on the ground. And it works like pretty well. Smells build up fast. Yeah, yeah, smells build up. I remember this one day where we were just like, I think it was in um, Santa Cruz, but we we're, it was raining and we we're just all in the back of it, like cold cooking and like a little stove in the back. That's pretty fun. Is there a principal songwriter or is it like a very collaborative songwriting process? Uh, I feel like for the most part, I've been like the principal songwriter, but um, we've been getting a lot more collaborative um, with all of our newer material. And that's also why I feel like it's getting a lot better. Before I would just kind of write something and we'd be like, okay, yeah, this is cool and like go with it. But now it's a lot more like playing tug of war with songs and like going back and forth and making sure everyone's really happy with it. Favorite bands? Oh, uh, I like uh, Garth Brooks a lot. And, uh, and that band Parkway Drive, I like those guys a lot. They're probably up there with my most listened to. I feel like it's super difficult to say a favorite band. Not really. Pretty easy. <laughs> well, when you only listen to two bands, <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. I feel like the ones that keep that I keep coming back to for the last couple years have been, I gotta say, yeah. "Show Me the Body" and "Proto Martyr." Probably. Is there anything that's kind of just around the corner for you? Um, well, I know we we're just talking about our old age, so I mean, maybe death. Yeah, death. Yeah. Death. yeah. No, I don't. Um, and I, I think we, I don't know if we mentioned, but our, we've been in like paramedic school for the last like year. 
and we're on like the final like stretch of it right now. I'm just kind of working on finishing this so we can start focusing more on music and recording and getting the ball rolling again. 100%. But as soon as we can, um, yeah, just three more singles. Probably do one every couple months. Gnarliest things you've seen as EMTs. Um, I got one, or do you want to go first? No, you can, you can go. Oh, we had this dude who, uh, <laughs> I don't want to spill any beans here, no pun intended. Uh, he, he like gorged himself on a, he ordered a hundred uh, hamburgers and he ate like 90 of them before like they were able to stop him. And they brought him in and this dude was just like, like sweat, like shooting sweat. You could, I like, and I got food poisoning from Jack in the Box like a few years ago. So as soon as like he came through the door, cause this was when I was working in the hospital, I smelled it and I'm like, oh, it's fucking Jack in the Box. I can smell it from here. Like, it's like there was butter coming out of his skin. It was so gross. And he was like, 400 pounds he was like a big dude so they bring him in and he's like all hyperventilating and stuff and i was like i was trying to like do his ekg because they were like worried about the dude's heart they're like fuck dude this guy just ate like 90 cheeseburgers just like pounded them down like super fast um why good question no, you ever seen the whale only he would know <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, this fool just started like like right when I pulled like the cables off him, he just started like projectile vomiting, and it went like o over his freaking legs and like was hitting the walls and stuff. And like, I've never like, I've, I've never like thrown up. You gotta tell your story, dude. The camera's rolling. Yeah, I don't know. But like, uh, I guess a funny one. Um, if you're ever gonna use like a, a cock ring, use one that's like Fits. rubber. Oh, or that can like be cut off easily because somebody like used a uh, like a titanium one and it was on there for like eight hours and it was just like the gnarliest pain the dude was like screaming and like writhing around but like you try to move and it would like hit something <laughs> <laughs> you just like keep screaming so like we had to get like a drill and like was just... it still hard yeah <laughs> So we have to get like a drill while he's just like rock hard and, and just like drill his like ring off and he's just like screaming and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll do a we'll do our beer song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, a classic. It's, a, it's a it's a classic. <clears throat> All right. You ready? I don't know if I'm ready to, to, to start sing. off with guitar or just with vocals. Guitar. All right. Can I uh, can I hit that thing again to get the pipes warmed up? Thanks. <laughs> pipes coated. Any excuse. Pipes coated in blueberry mint. <laughs> you remember how it starts with just guitar? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. One, two, three, go. Say that time. 
Then I asked him for an IPA so I could drink the pain away. Then he added me a Corona with lime. Then I went over to a different bar, went too drunk to drive a car. Then I asked him if he passed out for me. Let me look around for you, I'll see just what I can do. Then he said he only had cores light on drought. That sucks! I don't mind Before we got switched to wine I guess I can use a tolerance break But I'll be low on my caloric intake So I I've been drinking too much beer I've been drinking too much beer I've been drinking too much beer Whoa. <laughs> 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 <laughs>